You don't have to dislike yourself to motivate change. Yes, indeed, it is true, America. Self-improvement is a positive thing, but often, but often, it is motivated by self-loathing, and that can get in the way of lasting change. Approach your growth with a more optimistic mindset. It's pretty simple, and it makes a lot of sense, right? Like, when you try to change, like, because, oh, this doesn't work, like, oh, I'm fat, so I need to go work out. Say, I want to be healthier, and be optimistic about that, because, you know, once the self-loathing leaves you, then you go back to your old habits. You need to have a lifestyle change. That's how you truly create, like, change in your life. That's how you truly motivate change. You want lifestyle change. Right? So whether you're addicted to food, alcohol, cigarettes, Whatever you want to be addicted to, right? You self-loathe about it. Oh, this sucks. I'm a cigarette. Say, listen, I want a healthier life. And because I want a healthier life, I'm going to stop smoking. The question that you have to ask yourself is, does your change come from a place of self-loathing or does it come from a place of acceptance? Then go on to explain that acceptance doesn't mean stagnation. Many times, accepting who you are can actually help you change because you have to first accept whatever it is. I'm overweight. That means I need to change it. Instead of being in denial or working against yourself, say, listen, this is what it is. This is who I am. Accept yourself. And when you accept yourself, then you're going to work. Instead of working against yourself, you work with yourself to make the positive change you see in your life. Whether or not this works for you, one thing to remember. You don't have to hate yourself to make a change. That's some powerful stuff. You don't have to hate yourself to make change. You should love yourself into change. The opposite of hating yourself. That's all that. I, and it, yo, that's some true stuff, man. That's some real deep thing. Let, let that sit. Let that marinate for a second, folks. Let that marinate for a second. <laughs>